Hey, this is Carlos from datingadviceguru.com. I'm gonna to talk to you today about seven signs he's in love with you. I mean, you wanna know that, right? You wanna know if he shares the same feelings. Because love is tricky. It's hard to know what's real and what isn't when it comes to emotions. We're just looking for that reassurance that we're putting our investment in the right place, right? Well, you might panic if you don't know what's going on inside his head. You know, your insecurities can run wild and you might even end up self-sabotaging the relationship. So instead of doing that, let me give you some signals to look for. Sign number one is you gotta look for that look in his eyes. Now, there's a reason that the eyes are called the seat of the soul and the eyes are also the one place it's hardest for you to lie from. Sometimes we're afraid to look a little too deep, but the truth is in there, as I guess they would say on X-Files. If he's in love, if your man is really there with you, he's going to look at you with a longing that will speak volumes about his true feelings. You only have to look in there a little bit to see it. It's always apparent in the eyes. And guys have to keep looking to convince ourselves that the romance is real. That's how we take things in. You've heard guys are visual. Well, now you know why. If he's drinking you in with his eyes, that's a good thing. Signal number two is that he remembers what you say. Now this can be kind of a mixed bag because it might seem like he's not listening to anything you say, if he's ignoring you, but if he's in love, he'll be listening for the stuff that actually counts. This means he's paying attention to things like special events in your life or the names of people that you mention. Um, he may not seem to make a big deal at the time. You might even wonder if he heard you at all, but it will sink in and then it comes out when you least expect it. And signal number three, he's giving more than he's taking. In order for any relationship to work, you gotta be, well, you gotta be giving. You can't be stingy with your emotions. There has to be a, a surplus of goodwill and love in your relationship. That's why you gotta look for a guy that's a giver, not a taker. And what I mean is that he's putting into the relationship. He's adding to you. To really keep a relationship going, you have to find yourself a giver, not a taker. Yeah, we all make a few withdrawals from the emotional bank account from time to time, but the deposits have to be greater over the same time. If he's taking too much without replenishing you, sooner or later your tank is gonna run dry and you're gonna definitely need a refill. So you gotta look for that emotional generosity. Sign number four of these in love is he sees the real you. When it comes right down to it, the one thing we all want more than anything is to be seen and accepted for the real person that we are. When he's in love, he'll see things that about you and about the person that you really are, some, some things you might not even realize. He'll see the good and the bad, which means if you're not living up to who you are, your potential, your true character, your loved one should call you on it and let you know. That's right, sometimes love can be uncomfortable, but it will make you better. Love signal number five is you're his priority. A guy that really loves you is gonna find it hard to consider anything a priority over you, but in the end, you will stand out as his priority in life. He'll want to make you happy, and seeing your joy will mean the most to him. A man needs to feel like he can really make you happy. If he can't do that, he's gonna feel like a failure in the relationship. And that's one of the reasons that men leave relationships. Sign number six, he wants you to share in his life. Yes, even if it's Star Wars cosplay, this is a sign that most women overlook, and it's the one that many women even resent. You might not find them uh, exciting, these things that he takes you along on, right? These pointless trips to the music store or that place where he gets scrap parts for his beat up motorcycle that he's been restoring for the last four years. But hey, it might not be fun or exciting, but this is how men bond. Men bond by spending time with you. That's the most important thing. In fact, time spent doing absolutely nothing is the best kind of time for him. It's quiet, peaceful, and the highest quality time for him. He's in love with you, sign number seven, he's committed. This is the one that every man, every woman wants from a man, but how do you measure commitment? Is it in his words? Is it in a marriage proposal? Well, in the end, the only indication of a man's commitment is his presence. He probably won't be making a huge gesture like standing outside your window in the rain playing a love song, but he will make the far greater gesture of sticking it out with you, especially if it's through tough times. Look, if you're a woman, you're always gonna feel a little anxious about the state of your relationship, but you can't let those fears and insecurities sabotage something that's really good. They can easily get away from you and make you hit the panic button in your relationship. Ultimately, a man's love is a powerful force. You'll see it in his actions, probably most of all, and if you don't see it there, then that's a good sign he's not really in it with you. You'll see it in the things that he does for you, as well as the care and effort he puts into the things he knows are important to you. There are many things that make up a loving relationship between two people because, well, sometimes even the feelings are not enough to make a relationship successful. It's not enough to make it work. You need to know the skills to create your own true romance with the man in your life. Go on over to datingadviceguru.com forward slash true romance. You can read my little article on how to create that deeper, richer connection with the man in your life and know for sure 
he's in love with you. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo. I'll be talking again soon. Go on over to datingadviceguru.com forward slash true romance and I'll talk to you next time.